What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. And we are returning to Wreckfest once again here today for something that I have felt is absolutely mandatory since that crazy, controversial F1 race in Jenna the other night. What better way to follow that up than with a hell ride of our own? Here we are at one of the all time greatest Wreckfest tracks, and it is sure to deliver us a destructive debut equal to what we saw the other night because we are here with a combo that I'm sure you're all going to love. We've got the formulas from the bomb shelter pack. We've got the F1 drivers back out here. Again, these cars are crazy fast. We're going to be looking like a speeding bullet in this kind of mock Lewis Hamilton car from back in the day. So we got to get on the hunt for this hellacious dub, and I'm ready to get started. Let's go. We'll watch for the imaginary five lights out. There they go. And off we go here at Outride. First run of the day. We're taking it right up the gut off the ramp. We try to file in line, maybe take a few bumpers with us, take a few side swipes around us. That was unnecessary. This bounce is going to be unnecessary. What is that? End over end. That just seemed unnecessary to start this off. That didn't need to happen. Oh, neither did that. We just lined ourselves up for another one and another one and another one. I get the idea, game. We can leave it there. That is kind of the nature of the beast with Hell Ride. I've come to expect that and three wide coming at me with nowhere to go. That's all too normalized around these parts. And what other option do I have but to take it on the chin and keep moving? We haven't even made it through half of a lap yet. So welcome to Hell Ride. I've never been here. Don't get comfortable and that's why. You might get bodied by Barrichello out of nowhere. Certainly not the best first attempt we've ever had. Definitely Hell Ride 1 and 0, but we are not going to be discouraged. We're going to keep going forward. We're going to almost lose it here on the outside. That's not good. Those guys all lost it. They didn't even try to make it to the ramp again. And what the hell kind of bounce is this? Out of the park, even. And I did not hit the reset button. The game just reset me out of its own pity. Just looked at me in disgust and threw me back on the track. Yo, oh, and Eddie brake tested me over here. Where haven't seen that before? From one Eddie to another. What the hell? Jesus. Oh, gross shot. I'm sorry. I just don't want to go, man. I'm going to launch myself through the hell hole here. For retribution, I'm gonna land it by the looks of it. We are still within five seconds of the leader, and cars are getting rolled all around us here. We ride this ball out here, we might have a shot at something. Oh my god, holy! Oh my god, this car's going everywhere. We're spiraling through the hole. What a shot! We are gonna wreck out of it badly, actually, and we lose a wheel. That had to be one of the most cinematic things I've ever seen in Wreckfest. I can't even drive away from this. Got to take a look at what happened here because it, it, Tom Brady couldn't spiral a football as good as we spiraled through there, but we just didn't quite finish it off. And that turns us into a just demonic set of flips here. Fit for Hell Ride. And on the attempt to drive away, we definitely get hindered a bit by whoever that is. I don't even know what to say about that. Now, I can't believe this thing is able to still drive at this point after we did a touchdown worthy spiral through the air and now we're still doing them. What was more glorious, that? or Jared Goff's game winner for the first Lions win of the year. I'm pleased with both. And I'm pleased with a Nico Hulkenberg dub. This is all coming up. Mostly good for us. Can three of us even fit through the hell hole? We're not even gonna get to find out, or maybe we will. Hold on, we're getting knocked all around this thing. Off the opposite side of it, into a twister. We're gonna drive out of this thing. Don't even mind me. But do you wanna push it? You guys can go faster up here, you know, come on. You don't have to mount each other. You can't just go. Are you? Are the stewards in here telling you to slow down? Maybe that's the problem. Hold on. We might have a problem here. We've got a Talladega pack going into the hellhole, and we are not going to come on the other side in very good shape. We're going nose first. My wing is gone. See you later. We're working on the back wing next, and a couple of the wheels. This thing's made of vibranium. We come up on this pack with a crooked, busted nose, and then give ourselves no chance whatsoever by running over the back of someone else, and we all come raining down as a result. That's my new favorite Slayer song right there, Raining Formulas. Oh, Juan, what are you doing, Juan? Why are you backing up into traffic, Juan? That wasn't F1, Juan, that was Jet Dryer, Juan. Oh my God, who is that just was sailing 800 feet into the sky? Me and Rubens Mary Keller are gonna meet again. That's a little payback, brother. Maldonado really wrecked himself out of the lead and gave it to us in that hole. Kerfluffle and then right on cue, it gets sabotaged. Hulkenberg with the betrayal. There are military missiles with less accuracy than what he just hit us with. Oh, that's a car I just hit? What the hell was that? I thought that was a little piece of crap on the ground. I thought I just run that over. That was someone. That was a car. Oh, man, another one sailing out of the skies. And oh, he did not make it. He is going head first into the barrier. Oh, no. That was Hulkenberg, too. That makes it even funny. Oh, no, I sent it too far up the banking. No. No, that's so unfortunate. What a slam it again. So as much as I'd like to just call this like a driving blunder while I did go up the track, the car then like, it, I'm telling you with all the damage and the three wheeledness, 
it just shot itself up there. And then we bounce off the cage and another car. The rest of to the cones. I want to get back over here, but Kivyat slams me. We're going for a ride. Spiraling underneath again with a bunch of others. We're going to do a Tomate reverse out of here. Oh, that was done with style and class. It doesn't get any better for that. We get massive pin with a massive spin. No big deal. Oh, no. The what are they doing? We just bounced off the roof. Just drove on the roof for a second. No big deal. What kind of targeting was that? They never go to the top. Good thing we didn't look back because there were some terrible things unfolding right behind us. And even with all that and all the room we had, Kivy had still felt the need to slam me off the road and just remove us from the ramp entirely. And I had to back out of it like Toll Mater. Using lessons learned from a tow truck. And it was all for naught because we come down here and we get absolutely space forced off the face of Lance Stroll. Neat. Make it through the war zone. We got cars darting towards us. Torpedo went past us. Passer goes low. I go, I am going to crash into the ring. Right into the ring of fire. Face first. Now that you just hate to see. Oh, beautiful. And it restarts us at the top of the mountain. And we get a massive hit right there and right off the head of us again. Oh, my God. And another one. There we go. We're dead. The ring claims another soul. Well, note to self, stay away from the sides of the ramps. You might get dunked on. What a sickening blow. I'll think of the G-forces. Incoming. Oh, the little wheel falling off is so sad. Just when you think you're safe, too. Bam, then it throws that right in front of you. I barely creep over the edge. We get another hit, and then three slams, you're out. Boom. And that guy goes flying in the distance. We need, oh, we don't need that for a start. We just ran over Ralph Schumacher, almost took ourselves out. There we go. We are taken out right in front of the fans, right in front of their faces. They get a front row seat to my demise, and we are at least going to be able to pull away from that, but another fantastic, flawless start. And there you go. We barely get tipped. And oh my god, we just slid into Felipe Massa, who's mangled already. He was, like, exposed and squished in there, throwing the damn towel. We are going to get a super speedy entrance into this bank area. We're going to get a mega ultra overdrive. Oh my god, barely holding on to it in the air. We're going to get a rocket exit out of it. Yeah, we do, but into the side of the barrier, not low enough ouch just hit that wall at Mach 3 nobody would be able to walk away from that yet here we are in fourth with one lap to go how can you not stay in this fight well this is how you can remove yourself from it by wrecking a wheel and losing two of them no I'm just gonna stick to the bottom on this one I think and hope for the best and here comes the wave of cars we're gonna get swept up in the tornado of souls in the hell ride that was massive again with another masterful start. Martin Brunel doing some kind of dance on me. Get off of me. We really need to evaluate what just happened with cockpit view because I, that's the only way to truly describe what happened. Yeah, let's start this with the start when we first get hit right in the face with a couple of cars. Thank you, Halo and Canopy, because without it, my head would be gone. Again, Martin Brundle demonstrating this for us. Thank you, Martin. This is mayhem. No, oh, they're wrecking up here at the very top of the track. Irvine, get off of me, buddy. This is the Eddie and Eddie show. Oh, he's pushing me into traffic. That was an actual attempt on my life when I missed the ramp, and we're doing a sick spiral, and I'm driving out of it. I might be the sickest driver alive. Unmatched skill and talent being used here. Close calls everywhere. They're throwing cars in our face left and right. We're going to get a bad bounce, aren't we? No. Keep my wheels, please. No. No. Oh my God, it listened to me and just said, nope. Now, I don't know how we didn't get taken out right here when cars are flying as we're gonna duck and dive, not get hit in the face with that. And then a damn ramp all by our lonesome is gonna be what takes us out as we slowly flip on our wheels, slowly detach themselves from our existence. And we enter down here clearly, apparently not, according to Mark Weber. He's gonna bounce us out of the way, see that we land upside down once more. Can we land back on the wheels? Yes, we do. We pop it back over with the throttle. We lost the wing, <laughs> bang into a couple schlubs, but we're good. Good to see these half pipes work. These used to be kind of bugged. I'm glad to see they work, and we just launched Erickson into the Space Force. He just went straight to Commander. <laughs> we're getting our payback right now as we get twisted up and mangled, ass-packed into next week. I know the championship outcome now. Everyone explodes the end. The honor we bestowed upon Marcus Erickson with this hit may never be matched again. I mean, we sent him straight to the top of the Space Force with that violence. And he went right outside the track and then learned the Space Force techniques of teleportation within seconds. He is a master for sure, as we're getting pumped back here. We could use some super ultra mega hyper drive right now here in the high banks. Oh, but not if we're just going to take it right into the side of Latifi. What are you doing? Me and my 10 health points can't be having this. And somehow we didn't lose any right there. That's a miracle in itself. Maybe the Space Force techniques are rubbing off on us somehow. 
Oh, Danny Rick, we're gonna pass him the hard way up over top. No wheels on the ground, no problem. Give me the spot. Just hand it over, no questions asked. Nobody gets hurt. Through the hell hole we go. We are making some serious speed through here in some time. We're gonna have a hell of a slam right now, Hulkenberg. No! Hulkenberg, how could you do this? Room for one more on the ramp here, I guess not. We're gonna get a little slideways and get ramped off of ourselves. End over end some more, tumbling. But to the wheels. Take me on, let's go. Oh my God, Danny Rick getting twisted up and taken out. Well, as we witness this, among all the racetracks within Wreckfest, Hellride has to be the most accurately named. I think we as a people can all agree on that, that this just is an unparalleled perfection. I might force myself into an accidental spiral there. We just ripped the wheel off, run it into dead cars. Oh, that's tremendous. Do I look like I have ever given a damn? If I have three wheels, get me out of here. It has affected me many a times. We're gonna act like it doesn't. As I just saw someone do a sick wheelie and it has taken me off my game so much. So we're going around. That was pretty sick though. Wonder if even with three wheels, we can get up here all the way out. Oh, it kind of cuts you out. Oh no, Us oh, spiral me around. We're good. Nah, keep your foot in it. If I come back and win in this casket on wheels, I should immediately be inducted in the hall of fame without any type of prejudice. Oh my God, never mind. Johnny Herbert just took the hell hole in reverse. Put him in the hall of fame. Forget about me. Oh, Damon's bailing out of the ramp. I will too. What do you know? Oh, I'm gonna spiral myself again on purpose. Count it. Everything I do is calculated. This dub is calculated. That takeout was calculated. That might actually just cost me any chance I had. That wasn't quite as calculated as I had hoped. Damn it, I needed a calculated full speed exit and that is fully gonna take me out as Damon Hill crosses the line. Turns out he did know what he was doing. I ran the quick mass and they were wrong. Look at my car, you can see me through the car. And I'm fourth. Wait a whole ass damn minute. Was that the first time we actually finished a race today? I think it was. Well, I'm taking that energy right up the gut then. Oh, maybe we won't. Nope, I'm taking that energy straight to the wall. As little John once said, from the window to the wall. Till Nico Holkenberg kicks me the balls probably, which is about what's gonna happen next, or maybe Rubens Marichello just hit me in the face for the 15th time today. That's always acceptable. You never know who's gonna run you down, do you? I think we're following in the footsteps of Damon Hill again. I will not make the same mistake twice. That is not gonna happen again. We are gonna split a car in the middle. He's running into the inside wall. We're gonna take that spot. We might take all the spots. We might take the lead. We're gonna take our own head off again. Right in the same spot, just on the other side. And then a heat seeker right there. What the hell was that? I'm flipping over the line. Can I get across it? No, apparently not. We need to stop with the targeting, the terminations. We need to inspect the lines of code in these AI and figure out when and where they mutated into bloodthirsty terminators and why. What caused this? What can we learn from it? How can we do better in the future? We may never do better. And my little wheel just plops off at the end. That's great. Pass the ride with me like a sidecar. I don't need this, buddy. We're shoving guys off here. You're shoving me off and into the fire face first again. Say goodbye to the teeth. They're gone. Around the red line, give me the fast exit. We might have a roadblock here in front of us. We do. We're bouncing off everything. I think we just shortened the wheelbase of this car by like two feet. Bounced off of each end. Me and Lance Stroll, we're going to barely touch in midair. This is not going to go well. Please, the old man. Oh, who is that? You absolute savior, Hulkenberg. Things start to get a little rock here around here in this sequence as we try to get around this red line. We try to shoot through the roadblock, can't do it. Shorten the car up a little bit, slam it on both ends. And still we ride, but run into Lance Stroll. And then with that comes the ultimate baby face turn from Hulkenberg as he saves us so we can ride out of it. Hulk really is doing more baby face and heel turns than the Big Show has in his entire career in one set of races. Passers fighting me for the lead right now. Do not need a Maldonado moment right now. Don't need any drama right now. We're getting it. We're getting cars all over the place in the way. And it's Hulkenberg again. How is it always this one guy? Make up your mind. We can get to Pastor. We can do this. We can shoot out of this corner and get to the line even. We might be able to do no. no. Another foot lower. I swear we were going to shoot right over when we get the dub. 
No, that's such a heartbreaker. We were that close. My throat's giving out after that one. We gotta get this together. We gotta get a good start. And that's as good of a start as you can get to the lead. Hey, yo, nobody blow this for me. <laughs> that was close. Flying through the hoop. It's gonna have a good landing here. Lucky landing. We got one into the ultra banks. This is looking good. Fire me out of here. Give me a good one up on two wheels. Right into Erickson, face first. Nowhere to go. 15 points down the drain. A lot of other cars crashing. A lot of other guys suffering right now. We're doing pretty good. Better than usual, except for when we're nose diving and bleeding all of our time. My five second gap's going out the window. Come on. Get back on the road. We can do this. We got like a second now. Might just close my eyes and hope for the best down here. Look at this minefield. Oh my, it's actually a minefield. What are you supposed to do about that or this? No, Willie out of it. Willie, oh no, I can't Willie out of that. We might be able to. No, we're gonna lose the lead to Pastor again. Not like this again. This is just cruel and unusual punishment at this point. What do I have to do? As the winner gets decided and my dreams are fully dashed and my face is smashed all at the same time. And rest in peace to whoever that is flipping down the stretch. As we come across for a second, I see no other choice but to just baby it on the entrance here. We have at least avoided getting massacred on entrance, maybe on exit. We will too. Yes, we do. We have cars landing all around us and we get out of it clean. Got to ride the lining, ride the hot hand while we're at it. Oh my, a super close call. We just rubbed wheels with somebody coming the other way. We're going to land this one hard down on the suspension, but we'll pull out of it. White flag in the air. Cars coming at us from everywhere. Still rubbing tires with guys coming the other way. This is insane. Oh my God. Holy coma lighting game barrel rolling at us and we're getting shot over to the stage. Up on top of the railing. What is this? I can't see a thing. Oh, I can see it now. Down on the wheels. No wing. No problem. Let's go. Couple corners away. Not if we keep doing this. We're going to be a million miles away if we keep doing that. Come on. Literally. Damn near shaking at this. Come on, just shoot me out of here. Don't you play any games with me across the line. In the air, we get hit across the line for the dub. That was a war. There's no other way to describe what we all just witnessed other than total outright war. One of the bloodiest bloodbaths we've ever seen. We came through here, got a just righteous beating, did a skateboard grind across the top of the railing, landed on the wheels, Got hit multiple more times by multiple more cars. But did we let that stop us? Absolutely not. That, however, is where we're going to stop things today. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe down below. If you have not already, hit me with a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see in the future. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.